Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, April the 1st, 2013. I know I didn't put out a video all of last week. Shame on me for that. But today is my birthday, so I thought you maybe you'd give just like a free pass on that one and uh, just say, you know, I'm going to be putting out more videos this week, so you can check that out. Um, what we're going to show to you today are several different charts from around the globe, so uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm watching right now. There's a couple that I'm not interested in, but there's a few that I am very interested in. Right now, we'll start off looking at the Australian market, the AORD. On this particular chart, we've had a nice move to the upside for a while and bounced around, kind of moving sideways here, not making any big moves. And then we got a nice little pullback here to the 50 period moving average. Whenever you're in an uptrend, you want to look for pullbacks to the 50 period moving average as the best entry opportunities if you get the right signals. The right signal will be a nice pullback with a nice hammer candlestick formation like we saw here, and then confirmation on the next day when you got that here. So this is actually still a buy. Somebody could be uh, buying this scenario right here because you'll notice you can set a stop right here, and then all the activity we have is just sideways moving activity here above that stop loss limit line here, and therefore this would still be a, a good scenario looking for a test of the previous high here. Uh, there's other charts that I'm more interested in, but this is one that I can understand what people would be looking at it and looking at a possible move to the upside here. Also, you pull back down here on your ultimate oscillator, getting to the oversold condition, but at the same time, you're getting that hammer candlestick formation. So this is where you'd be looking for some kind of a bounce to form. Quick little glance here at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As you guys know from the last video I uploaded, I'm not interested in U.S. markets right now. Uh, I know we are lifting up to the upside here, but I'm just not interested. We haven't had a good quality pullback to the 50 period moving average with the hammer candlestick formation. So I'm just going to let this one run without me. And I'll show you another chart later uh, today that will actually show you why you do not just buy because markets are going up. One of the European charts that I am interested in watching right now will be the French CAC 40 index. On uh, in this particular scenario here, you can see that you have this high point here, pull back to a lower low, and then the high point was lower here between that point and that point. So we pull back again, we get a lower low, still not messing with it. Then we break out to the upside here. I don't know why that's doing that. And then we actually pull back down. At this point in time, we have this high point here this higher high here, this low point here, and this higher low here. That means uptrend has taken effect. Back here, you were just moving sideways. You didn't know which way you're going to break. Now you know you're breaking to the upside here. So what we're going to do is look for a nice trade opportunity on the long side here. You also notice in this little uptrend scenario, we've pulled back to where the 50 period moving averages red line right here. So we're interested in this. We want a hammer candlestick formation. Somebody could look at this and say, well, this is a really large hammer. That's sloppy. So I'm not going to do that. I'd like to see something a little uh, tighter formed up. Um, if you are going to do that, that's your call, but be looking for a break of a, a high point. So you got this high here, this high here, this lower high here, lower high here, equal high here. When you start to break the upside, you start to see a higher high, then you can get involved. You want to at that point set a stop off this low here, and then we can advance the stop as we continue to move higher, testing this high point here. Glancing now at the MIB, the Milan index, you can see in this particular case, this is a chart that I wouldn't be looking for a buy opportunity at. Uh, even though we're, we're seeing uh, other situations that are kind of bullish in the European Union there. Uh, I wouldn't be in this particular one because it's a, one of the weaker peripherals and it's one of, the, of course, the pigs. And it's also the main thing here is that we are in a downtrend. So whenever you're in a downtrend in this particular case, I'm not looking to be a buyer. We're still making lower lows, lower highs. Until that changes, I don't buy. I look for sell opportunities. That would mean find situations where you come up here to the 50 period moving average and find a nice sell signal. That would be where you're going to be shorting at. Looking now at the German DAX composite, probably the strongest of the European charts that we're tracking here, obviously, uh, fundamentally speaking. So this is something that I'd be more interested in on the European side. Uh, again, we had a nice size gap at this point. We've come back down and filled a great portion of that, and we're finding support at the 50 period moving average, and we are, we are in an uptrend. We have this high point here, this high point here, and this higher high, this low point, and this higher low. So we are in an uptrend. We're looking for a nice opportunity to go long. Again, I'd like to see a hammer candlestick formation. I wish this thing would work right so I could do my video without being... Uh, frustrated by that. But anyway, uh, the main thing here is just to be looking for a nice hammer candlestick formation and, and confirmation, get long, be looking for a test of this high here. Looking now at the EWJ or the Japan iShares, this is a chart that shows you why you do not just buy because the stock is going up or the markets are going up. Uh, just because a, a situation rises where um, there doesn't seem to be a pullback, you, you have to follow your uh, strategy, and that is to follow your technical uh, rules and those technical rules indicate that you buy on a pullback and when a pullback doesn't happen you sit back and you wait you be patient 
if you bought any of this time period right through here looking at well it just keeps going up I can't get it in so I'm gonna just go ahead and buy like everybody else because they say that it's never gonna come down it's just gonna keep going higher you will eventually get burned like what happened here today so now you should be looking for your entry opportunity nice size gap massive gap here uh, between the close of this day here and then the, the actual high of this day here nice size gap here whenever you're looking at a chart that has lots of gaps in it like this one ha has uh, I don't pay any mind to them unless we get really big ones then I start paying attention to that so the, that gap will be tested later so we'll be looking for that but this pullback here makes a lot of sense as you're pulling back to previous resistance areas here now you're going to be finding support there. It's going to be at your 50 period moving average where you're looking to find your, your best entry opportunities anyway. Uh, the best signal would be a nice hammer candlestick formation and then jump on that and then put a tight stop under it. At this point, we haven't seen that develop here, so keep an eye on it. But I expect to be finding support at this level, 10, uh, 30 level, 1029. So keep an eye on that opportunity is setting up. Take a quick glance right now at the NASDAQ. You can see in this particular chart, I'm really not impressed. I left it alone. Uh, massive gaps here that haven't filled. Uh, we keep getting these signals. They're telling us that this entire run here is actually uh, bogus and it's going to get torn down. We don't know exactly when at this point, but it's just something that I'm not interested in buying. It's why when we had this higher close here, I look back here at this previous close and say we have a trend here at the same time period. You can see on the ultimate oscillator, you've got this high close, uh, high point here on the, on the momentum indicator, and it wasn't confirmed by a higher point here, so it's just looking like a bearish divergence, something I don't want to buy into. It's going to fall apart, and that's just what we're seeing. However, I can stretch this further back than the, the three months we're showing this chart and see that we actually have a massive bearish divergence forming here, and this entire thing is just that's bogus and it's temporary and we're going to end up pulling way back down. So again, this is not something I'm interested in the U.S. markets. The last chart I want to look at today will be the XOI oil index and this particular chart is uh, setting up in pretty bullish conditions. So I want to bring that to your attention. Uh, in this scenario, we had a nice advance coming up here and we had some consolidation and we started the base here and then we pulled back down. Nice hammer off the 50 period moving average and an uptrend made a lot of sense there. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention to taking an opportunity there. And we come up here and we have now started to form this base level again right here. Uh, that's cool. That's exactly what you want to see. This can go on for a while. I will be interested uh, for a buy opportunity when we break out above this high close. This is the highest close we've had in this overall pattern here. So when I close higher than that line, we know that we're now taking off from that base. So at that point, you can use that as a buy opportunity. I've drawn this little blue line here. As you guys know, I keep these charts on the free website at perfectstockalert.com. Uh, so I've drawn those uh, lines on them and several of the other uh, European markets that I like right now. Uh, even those that are on this video have already been uh, updated, annotated. So you can check them out there to show you when I'd be interested in them. Right now you can see in this one, XOI, when we close above this blue line here, and that's when I'd be looking for a buy opportunity. For those of you guys that are looking for those actual charts that I keep on the website there, both short-term and long-term, you can go to the homepage at perfectstockalert.com. You'll find them there. Just click on the link and they'll bring up the chart with my annotations all the way on them, as well as my buy and sell uh, markings whenever I, I see an opportunity. Uh, the main thing here I want to bring your attention to is that with the top of the page here, if you go into the technical section, you'll find a library of videos teaching you anything that you uh, need to know about technical analysis, basically everything that I know, as well as the fundamental section here. And we're still building this section here, but there's plenty already to be... Uh, uh, obtained by you for free okay 100% free all we ask in return please refer a friend that's very important to me it's really de it's going to determine whether or not I continue doing this down the road is whether or not we are sharing these videos and, and uh, that's why I've made it as of last month that I will not make a video every single day now I do one every time a video has been viewed 1,000 times which should be every single day but uh, you know there's different reasons for people not sharing the videos I don't know but uh, main thing here is just thank you guys for your support I appreciate what we've done this far but we need have a lot further to go uh, and the bigger we grow of course the the more I can provide for you for free so let's all get out there and get it done okay God bless take care see you in the next one Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.